News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Right now at 11 o'clock, new video. As firefighters work around the clock to get the upper hand on a wildfire that has scorched 450 acres near the Duval Nassau County line, and it's only 30% contained. I-95 in both directions still shut down in that area due to thick smoke or visibility. Traffic is at a crawl. A live look right now from our DOT camera where you see the warning sign telling drivers about the detours ahead. The interstate has been closed for nearly nine hours. Travelers hoping to get a jump on the Memorial Day weekend have gotten off to a rough start. Thanks to the interstate closures, Sky 4 flew over the Yellow Bluff fire. In the last 20 minutes, JSO tweeting that I-95 northbound uh, is shut down at I-295. That is exit 362, if you're familiar with that area. And you can see the closure, you know, right here and the reason why. And here's a map. Drivers must now either go east or west. JSO saying that this detour will be in effect for at least the next 24 hours. You see a lot of red there on US 17. That's the alternate route to getting around this mess. We have team coverage beginning with news for Jack's reporter Corley Peel. Corley, you've been speaking with people who've been stuck in the traffic for several hours. I have many of the drivers I spoke with say that they were sitting in traffic for three hours just to move five miles. Now that JSO has just sent out an update about the traffic and how drivers can only take exit 362 off of I-95 here at Pecan Park Road, this exit is no longer open, so drivers are not allowed to take this exit anymore. However, southbound here off Pecan Park Road, if you're traveling to get on the southbound ramp, it is still open. And majority of the people who were traveling today that I saw spoke with say that they had no idea what was causing all these traffic jams. As crews worked to fight the 450 acre Yellow Bluff fire Thursday, many drivers were stuck on I-95. Troopers closed the highway at the Duval and Nassau County line because of the wildfire. Traffic was backed up for miles. We were stuck for three hours just to get just five miles up the road. Cherise Brown says she and her family were traveling from Orlando to Augusta, Georgia. She says as they sat in traffic, tensions were high. What was going through your mind when all that was happening? They were going to run out of gas. Some people say they saw travelers leave their cars to take breaks. I even saw people get out of the car. I saw somebody walk their dog. Brown says she was expecting to be greeted by her family when she arrived to Augusta. But now she has roughly four hours added to her trip because of the traffic. We're supposed to arrive there like before 8 p.m. We're not getting there until the next day. I already know that. So we're going to be on the road until probably 1, 2 in the morning. Brown is hoping the worst of her trip is over. JSO says that the closure on I-95 is expected to take the next 24 hours. So if you are traveling this Memorial Day weekend, you'll want to keep that in mind. We will continue to keep you updated about the latest traffic updates as soon as we know more. And we'll always have that on newsforjacks.com. Reporting live from the north side, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station. Again, I... I-95 northbound is shut down at I-295, that's exit 362. And at I-295, you must either go east or west, at least for another 24 hours. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live on the north side. Eric, earlier today, you were given close access to the smoke and the flames. Yes, I did, and I can tell you that that smoke was so thick that it not only burned my eyes, but forced me to use a napkin like this to place over my mouth and nose to use as an air filter. Visibility was also pretty bad, and it got even worse as we got closer to where firefighters were battling the blaze. Raging flames and thick smoke. This is the stuff firefighters have been battling since a brush fire ignited Wednesday afternoon, then spread westward, leaving more than 400 acres of scorched land in its wake. Florida Forestry Operations Manager Mike Work says this is a difficult fire to put out because of the terrain, the marsh, the swamp lands, and it button up against I 95. Fire officials say that around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the fire jumped from the northbound side of I 95 all the way over to the southbound side. Sky 4 over the scene as the fire jumped the roadway. Thanks to flying embers, firefighters anticipated the flames. We had four pieces of equipment on the west side of 95 just for that reason, pre-staged. So when it happened, we could engage them quickly, 
plus with the help of the helicopter, pounded it very quickly, and we were able to keep it at somewhere between an acre and a half to two acres. Crews are also hitting other areas very hard with a lot of manpower and equipment. Florida Forestry has 29 firefighters battling the brush fire, and they're using 13 bulldozers and one helicopter. Jacksonville Fire Department has roughly 25 firefighters fighting the fire, and they're using four engines, three tankers, and two brush trucks. Right now, firefighters are still battling that blaze, even at night, and I'm told that they will be out here throughout the night. Uh, but in terms of getting the interstate uh, reopened, that is up in the air because I'm told that there is still a lot of smoke uh, that is covering that roadway. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.